My Rhinoceros by John Agee. When I bought My Rhinoceros, I didn't really know what I was getting into. He was a nice animal, quiet, shy. He stayed in the yard. He kept to himself. And after a couple of days, I noticed that my rhinoceros wouldn't chase a ball. Fetch! Or a stick. Fetch! Or a frisbee. Come on! He didn't even roll over. He didn't do anything. I called a rhinoceros expert. Does he yank on his, on his leash, she asked. No, I said. Does he attack other rhinoceroses? No, I said. Does he poop on the rug? No, I said. So uh, what's the problem? He doesn't do anything, I said. Actually, she said, rhinoceroses only do two things, pop balloons and poke holes in kites. I couldn't believe it. Pop balloons and poke holes in kites? How pathetic. And then I thought, what if we went to a park and there was a man selling balloons? Luckily, nothing happened. But what if somebody was flying a kite? Well, lots of kids were flying kites but nothing happened. My rhinoceros didn't pop balloons. He didn't even poke holes in kites. I began to wonder about my rhinoceros. Maybe he was a clunker. Maybe I should have bought a hippopotamus instead. But on the way home from the park, I saw a robbery. One of the robbers was getting away in a balloon and the other was escaping in a kite. The robber in the balloon was taunting the crowd. I looked at my rhinoceros. I pointed to the balloon. Pop, I said. And to my surprise, my rhinoceros leapt into the air. He swooped at the balloon with his tusks. Pop went the balloon and down fell the robber. I looked up at my rhinoceros and pointed to the robber in the kite. Poke a hole, I yelled and my rhinoceros swooped over and poked a big hole in the kite and down fell the robber. Everybody was amazed by my rhinoceros. The police chief raced up to me. Is this your rhinoceros? Yes, I said. Well, you've got a really special one. He can pop balloons and poke holes in kites. I know, I said, and guess what else? He can fly, too. I don't think I'll be buying a, hop a hippopotamus. The end.